In this animation, we'll be learning fish or fluorescent in situ hybridization. Now, fish enables the position of a marker on a chromosome or extended DNA molecule to be directly visualized. In optical mapping, the marker is a restriction site and it is visualized as a gap in an extended DNA fiber. In fish, the marker is a DNA sequence that is visualized by hybridization with a fluorescent probe. Now, when we talk about probe, the probe can be of different type. It can be locus specific probe or centromeric repeat probes or whole chromosome probes. Okay, now the first process for the fluorescent in situ hybridization is the making of probe. Now let's first talk about that. So for making the probe, we have extracted the DNA which is denoted, denoted here and we have also having fluorescent marked molecules or fluorescent marked nucleotide sequences in our hand. After that, we denature one strand of the DNA and after denaturing this into uh, certain regions, we will add the nucleotide sequences randomly inside to be incorporated inside those gaps. Now here, the fluorescently labeled uh, probe nucleotide sequences are attached to those gap regions and filling the gap. After that, we get this single strand labeled with fluorescent nucleotide and we isolate that out. Now what we get a fully formed probe. Now once we get the probe, the second task is to isolate the DNA segment need to be hybridized. Now that is the DNA of this particular cell. Now we'll get the DNA out of this cell. So let's take this DNA out. So that is the DNA. We denature the DNA to get one strand which is going to be the complementary against the strand we made with probes. So we get those strand, now probe strand will be complementary and it will bind with those isolated DNA. After that, we'll add primary antibody to be attached to the probe. After adding the primary antibody, we should add secondary antibody or else we can add the fluorescent molecules. Here it is denoted by this light. Now this fluorescent molecule will go and attach to the primary antibody and they will give us the fluorescence. By looking at the fluorescence, we can tell exactly where in the whole genomic DNA of, the back of this particular cell our actual desired probe complementary DNA is. That is the advantage of fluorescent in situ hybridization is that we can mark or tag a specific DNA sequence out of the whole genome.